the third day of the school trip. Shopping district in front of the station. Hagakure Ramen. Mm, oh man, this is really something! This place serves the best ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Hmm? Huh? You're not hungry? Um... <laughs> What happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. That's a hangover. Ah, and uh, hey and welcome everybody back to Persona 4. I'm your host, Falk. And uh, yeah, we are still on the school trip here. Uh, and um, if you've seen the last episode, We've we've gotten into a club, drinking no a non-alcoholic beverage, and Teddy, Yukiko, and Rise got that drunk. We played a bit of the Osama game, King's game, and um, yeah, we had some embarrassing moments. And told, now told the truth about the TV world and the shadows and stuff, though he didn't believe us. Ah, oh, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Ooh, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Um, I'll have the hug of curry bowl. The hug of curry bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no prob. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. <laughs> Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? Y you didn't finish, so... <laughs> oh, God, that was Teddy. I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. Ah. Huh. Okay. You little liar, give me that check. Let's see here. One, two, ten bowls. What? Yuki Chan's makes it eleven. Ugh. Ugh. I was going to finish mine. They were there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore. But now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. Uh, a shirt, food, or interiors? She once got the t-shirt and has been glad about the platypus t-shirt. But I do not know what the Eva Torai is, so mm, let's stay... Uh, okay, they, that, that might be something special of, of the area, but... Hmm. Let's buy Mochi. Alright, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. D dude, hey, he ain't moving. I I is he hibernating? Hey, 
Don't, don't, don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <clears throat> My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. He's an idiot. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Oh, Yukiko, wait for me. <clears throat> hey, I really can't move. And I don't have the money for a return ticket. Farewell, Teddy. <laughs> we shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. <laughs> you all headed to the rendezvous point to head back home. All the dates of the school trip passed by safely. Evening. Did you have fun? Uh... Oh, I don't think that we can choose Dan. Yeah, it was great. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, right? I've seen it on TV. There are tall buildings and a bunch of people and an ocean and stores. Nanaka is as excited as if she was the one who went. You remember that you bought the souvenir for Nanaka. Aww. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm gonna eat it right now. Wait, did you have a proper meal in the evening? Nanaka seems to like the Iwatodai mochi. Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look, my big bro got me a souvenir. Hey, nice. Did you remember to thank him? Of course. Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. Not the slightest. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. You talked to him much? I guess so, yeah. Uh, so, we, we talked to Naoto, but uh, he, he wasn't that much of a big talker. He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Dojima has a kind uh, look in his eyes. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? Ah, oh, no bathing scene. And we've been bathing like once a year or something like that, our, our first bath in half a year. The school trip is over and it's a peaceful Sunday morning. Nothing of note happened while you were uh, away. What should you do today? Well, shopping. We are going for shopping program. Yeah, okay. Now let's introduce the products available for these three days. It's Fuma Bundo. One time, the market's best rated claw. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. I'll add heavy soup two times to your Fuma Bundo. <laughs> heavy soup, really? <laughs> yeah. We've got another fantastic product on sale today. Inaba trout four times. Fatty fish, fresh, of course. Uh, on top of this, I'll add dry ice two times to your Inaba trout for only 6,980 yen. We are going to buy uh, the Fuma Bundo.
Wow, we thought through our entire stock. Thank you all so much for your participation in today's show. Today's sale is over, but you'll get another chance for three days starting next Sunday. See you next time on this channel. You're here to catch a song again. Blah blah blah. Shopping has ended. You turned off the TV. We are going out. Uh, what's in the... Oh, hey, we can house our, our things, our barrier corn. Harvest the vegetables. Nanako helps. One tetracorn, one macaracorn. Okay. We'll plant war paprika. I need to get that melon a seed once more. Uh, so I actually can see how much it uh, costs. Uh, the first time I bought it, I went through too quick. And uh, did not see the price, but I think it was like 15 to 25k. Weed seedling barrier corn, never mind then. We are going into town. It's a bit cloudy today. Um, let's start with Arkana City. Is it already mid? I don't think. Pirate all, yeah, it's still. still that thing. Hmm, we could go to the cafe, but we are going back to Inaba. Yasugami High is closed, it's on the center shopping district next. Oh, Chi on a scooter! I was just filling up the scooter's tank. Then it was close. Started running low, kind of far from here. But I'm all filled up again, so I can't go anywhere I want now. Want to take a ride? Help. When you go out with friends, time will pass, but your friend may awaken to new powers or regain forgotten ones. Try going out with them when you have the time. It seems Chia wants to go somewhere on your scooters. Go on with Chia. Mmm. Decline the offer. Oh, alright. Well, let me know if you're ever in the mood to go somewhere. I think I'll come back to that offer. Maybe even now, but first I want to go and catch some bugs and uh, do stuff. I have to watch the area for some new information. Oh, hey! Hey, show up, what's up? Precautious little girl. I went to the beach the other day. There was so much seaweed on the sand. Oh. But I want our wedding to be on a pretty beach in Hawaii. Don't you think beaches are prettier without the seaweed? Um, sure. <laughs> okay. It's all about the wedding back there. Young kids this, uh, this, these days are so mature. Ha! You swung the net with perfect timing. How many bucks did you catch? Inaba Jewel Beetle, Mayor Cricket, Yasu Locust, Daimyo Grasshopper, Daimyo Grasshopper, and oh, that's it. Good, we got our box. Um, where might the dog be? Seems to be nowhere around here. Oh, it's you again. Listen to this. I heard it from someone in the neighborhood. The local specialty of Inaba grilled steak. I heard that it's a fake. It seems like they just made it up because they needed to come up with a specialty quickly. Well, at least that's what the new rumors are saying. Well, this matter steaks are great. Uh, we are going to the riverbank. Uh, the floodplain. Sorry. Maybe the dog's there. Hello? Ah, there's the dog. <laughs> Seems that the dog is still very of you. What should you do? Uh, we are talking to it gently. Whimper. It seems the dog became less very of you. The dog ran away. You should look for it on another day. Okay, 
that's dealt with. Oh, the cat. Mew Mew, it seems like it's still hungry. You feel like you should try giving it some food. Feed the cat. Huge fish. Sure, you gave the cat food. Mew, the cat seems happy. You can try feeding it again next time. Nice. I still don't have your booze guy. Uh, we are going back to town, back to the uh, central shopping district, and we are going to hang out with Chie. Chie chan! Let's go to Hot Springs. Hot Springs? Oh, I guess that's what you'd call a day trip. Hmm. You think that'll be fun with just the two of us? I mean, we have to split up to separate paths. Uh, let's do it anyway. I like Hot Springs as much as the next girl. You decide to go out with Chie. <laughs> the hot springs, you came here with Chia. You hear a voice from the women's section of the hot springs. Are you there, Ngarkun? <laughs> I'm the only one on this side. I get this big bath all to myself. Man, this is heaven. You enjoyed the hot springs with Chia. You feel like the time is right for an in-depth conversation with Chia. What will he talk about? Talk about the future. Hmm. hmm. A future, huh? It's like I can't see what I want for a second, and then it's gone. It's still really blurry for me. You decide to speak with Chia about the future. Something changed inside of Chia. Hama. Tomo ole Hama. This persona can't remember any muskets. Do I really need hammer? It's only a light. And it's a low chance of instant kill one foe. Mm, we'll forget hammer. But it's interesting. I think if you... Um, if you t uh, talk about the future, you'll get some new things. And if you talk about memories... You might learn something that you've forgotten. Oh, hey, nice. It's Sunday. Let's cook. Yes, we are going to make some food. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make shaken sushi. You decide to make shaken sushi. You made the sushi rice. What will you wrap it with? Uh... I think tea leaves. Ah, chakin. Uh, cha is tea. So tea leaves should be right for chakin sushi. But I do not know. Uh, tamago is egg and. God, what was bamboo? Uh, I'm sorry, ta take. Take was bamboo. So we are going with tea leaves. The T, in this case, stands for terrible. Oh, shit. This doesn't seem edible at all. You decide to throw it away. I did it wrong. <laughs> and I put out the wrong things. So, ah. Uh. Oh, hey, Yosuke. Hunger. If you can spare the time, can you come somewhere with me? No rush or anything. Later. Yosuke likes... Uh, looks like he's in anguish. Maybe you should hang out with Yosuke after school. Oh, hey, Chia. Yo! Yo! What you doing? Hey, if you have some free time after school, do you want to hang out with me? Think about it, okay? Maybe you should hang out with Chia after school. I think we are going with Yosuke. He seemed really desperate. Oh, hey, Miss Kashig uh, Kashivagi, I hope you all enjoyed the school trip. Don't you all feel just a bit more mature now that you've visited an urban area like that? Oh, by the way, that cute bear that Ingar Kun had on the trip was really adorable. It got so... I get so tempted by animals with such unique designs. Speaking of bears, their friends, the pandas, are also really cute. Do you know what they used to be called in Japanese? They were called black and white bears and divided uh, and divided color bears. A perfect description of how they look. The mixed colors, so exotic, yet so delightful. You need to do some exotic things to become adults anyway. 
You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Classes have ended for today. Have the incidents finally been resolved? Um, who knows? Oh, oh, uh, hey, Teddy's here. Hey, Teddy. No matter where I look, I see girls, girls, and more girls. School is heaven. There's a certain freshness you don't find at Jeunesse. Every day is great indeed. By the way, between sailor uniforms and blazers, which is more f more your speed? Um, um, I think sailor uniforms are cool. The ribbon in the chest, uh, on the chest is the square color that flaps in the wind. You get it, son, say. Sailor uniforms are a perfect symbol of youth. Man, uniforms are awesome. Okay, hey. Oh, the boy's here again. He must really want to see me. A younger boy, hmm? He's definitely out of my league, though. Uh, still, he's trying so hard that I almost feel sorry for him. Hey, Yumi. Yo! Yo, Unger! Can I talk to you for a minute? There's something I want to say. Yosuke seems tormented. Yeah, we are going to spend time with Yosuke. I see. Thanks, man. <laughs> Yosuke looks happy. Samigawa Riverbank. You wandered here with a pensive Yosuke. Yosuke is holding something. I found this. It's a print club sticker I took with Saki Senpai. When I first got here, she insisted on taking it. Back then, somewhere inside me I thought I was above this place. A lot of people saw me as the enemy because Jeunesse was going to ruin the shopping district. But when I met her, she told me parents are parents, you are you. Even if she didn't really mean it, it made me happy. Because of her, I started to think maybe this town wasn't all that bad. But then... She died? Why? Why did she have to die? It pisses me off, it makes me mad. I wanted to talk with her more, I wanted to get to know her better. But she's not here anymore. Yosuke is sobbing out loud. No, poor dude. I get it now. I wanted to forget about Saki Senpai, how she's not here anymore. I wanted to forget that I was living a boring life in the middle of nowhere. When the murder started, I got excited. I thought there was finally a point to me being in a... I thought I could forget Sen uh, Senpai was gone and the fact that I was such a loser. I jumped at the murders and never once thought about what I was doing. I didn't even take the first step. I'm sorry, Saki Senpai. I'm sorry, Unger. Don't apologize. But I got you involved with the case, and all I did was run away from myself. Yosuke's looking at you, his eyes red. But I think I'm awake now. I need to get over the fact that Saki Senpai isn't coming back. That when the case... Then, when this case ends, I'll have nowhere to run. And I won't have changed. You made me realize that. It seems you were able to act as Yosuke's crutch. You feel a bond between you and Yosuke. That's level 9. Oh, it's level 8 or uh, only. Okay, I thought we, we've been a bit further into the ranks. Yosuke's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Diorama! Jiraiya learned Diorama. This persona can. Yeah, let's forget Dia. You spend a while with Yosuke and walk him home. Evening. Good evening, and welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch report. A suspect in the murders in Inova was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. 
No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Na, to jest on TV. Oh, his uniform is the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death. But when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time. But this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, the Detective Prince's true identity, where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... There's a detective at your school? When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school too. Breezy evening passes. Okay, back to school already. Hi, Senpai. Hey, Risa. Hey, guys. Yo. Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Tokun was on. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. Yeah, and he gave us some, some clues about the case, if I remember that correctly. I'm kind of surprised though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey. Where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Somewhat. Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? Hmm. Well, Leek, your child has been abducted. There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. Yeah, because we prevented them. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious! This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is, in fact, a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. 
The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. On school trip? The thing Yukiko said? Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naotokun? For me it is. And I'm playing it right now. After school. Class is suspended for today. Naoto didn't come to school. Okay. Um, we are going to end the episode here. Ah, uh, the last thing. Got um something recited in there. I think that's uh the beginning of Naoto discovering the TV world somehow. Either he's investigating that hard that he becomes so desperate that he gets somehow into the TV world and has to face his shadow. Or we just push him in and rescue him for, from his own shadow. Um, yeah, Some, th something like that. Okay, thank you all for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!